Hi, I'm Matthew of castingacross.com. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about flies, specifically where your flies go when they're not at the end of your line and when they're not in a fly box. Why does that matter? Well, you can always take a fly and put it in the brim of your hat or put it in that little fleece patch that comes with a new vest, but there's some better options out there, better for your flies, better for your gear, and add a little functionality to your time out on the water. It's also good to have an option for something that is going to allow you to carry only a few flies if you only need a few flies or if you'd like to take a minimalist approach. It's also good to have something that's accessible so your flies can dry off before you put them back in the fly box. You don't want to introduce all that moisture into uh, the rest of your flies. So today I'm going to walk through a few products that I really enjoy that accomplish all of those things for me when I'm on the water and uh, getting ready to go fishing. So the very first is the Fly Trap. This is the Fly Trap XLT. It's the larger of their two models, and it does a whole lot more than just hold flies. But it holds flies using this silicone uh, cylinder that applies uh, to the body of the product. Um, but it does a whole lot more than that. Uh, this is effectively how it works. So I have it attached to my favorite pack here, the Vita Vu Beast Sling. And I have it lashed on both sides using the clips on the fly trap. And what that does is it keeps it from moving around and jostling. And then I've got six spools of tippet. I've got probably a half dozen flies or so hanging on the silicone sleeve. And then I've got tools attached to both sides. Now, that sleeve is incredibly durable. The only ones I've had to replace are ones where over season after season, I've used heavy gauge hooks like saltwater flies or big bass bugs. But it's going to hold barbless flies and barbed flies very well. But another cool thing about having the fly trap and having all of your tools attached to it also is that you can take it off of one pack and put it on another one. And all of your favorite flies that you use... Uh, predominantly in your local streams and your favorite tools, as well as all of your core tippet, it stays in the same place. Um, additionally, and this is the smaller model, this is called the Minimalist, there's these grooves which allow you to wrap rigs onto the fly trap. And so if you want to go from a nymph rig with multiple flies to a dry fly and then back again, you're able to do it and it all stays in one place. Uh, the Minimalist retails for $12 and the XLT for $15. Great little products. Uh, the next one is a relatively new product, uh, came out very, very recently, and it's from South Fork Products, and it is called the Magnetic Fly Holder. And it's very, very simple in concept, but it's executed very well. They are rubberized magnetic plates that uh, uh, hold to a stainless steel base plate, and they recommend that you slide them on um, because the magnets are so strong, you can give yourself a good blister if they catch in the wrong way, but just to show how strong it is. Um, it's a nice product because you don't have to pin it or clip it. You can see back here, I have the single version of it. This is the Duo. Uh, this is on a pair of waterproof waders. You can put it on a wading jacket. You can put it on a normal shirt. So you have to pin something or, or clip something. It's incredibly strong magnets. Hold your flies on very, very well. Um, you can see here, I've got a very, very small nymph and a very, very large streamer. It's not very large, but it's a large streamer. And um, this is not something you'd be doing on the stream, but this shows uh, that they're going to hold on very, very well. And a cool thing about this too, is that uh, that streamer is not being held on by the barbell eyes. It's just the hook eye as well as the hook point that's keeping that on there. Uh, another great feature of this, and again, this adds some functionality, is you have it clipped on your vest or, or on your pack or on your waders, and you have something that is going to be moved around like uh, uh, hemostats on a zinger. And if they bump up against it, it will hold it, but what it's really going to do is it's going to keep it from jangling around and bouncing all over the place. So it just adds a little bit of value in that way. The Duo retails for 22 and the Single is for 12 And again, lots of different colors. Uh, brand new company, uh, definitely check them out. Uh, the last of the three kinds of product is from Pirate Fly Fishing. And this is a product I've had for, I think, seven years now, right when the company came out. Um, and you can see it's still in really good shape, but I use it all the time. So this uses really high density foam with slits cut into it, an incredibly durable base plate. But this was invented to effectively replace your visor for a fly storage uh, solution. So it slides onto your visor, but you can use it anywhere. Uh, I would clip it in the back of my car on one of uh, just the, like the handles and it it stayed there and flies came off of my line or off of one of my other products and they went in here and then they would go back into the boxes. But the great thing about this is that it can work for saltwater flies, it can work for the smallest of, of midges, it holds things very, very firmly and it, it looks pretty cool also. But there's another product, this is the uh, the 
pirate's fly patch, and this is the first mate patch. So this shows you kind of um, the variety of flies. You have a pretty large, I think it's a two-aught striper popper, and then you've got some very, very small midges in there that uh, it holds everything very, very firmly. This one utilizes Velcro, and so this can go onto a pack or anything that you can find that has the, uh, the matching surface, and it'll stay on there very, very strongly. Uh, it also has those rare earth magnets that can hold tools or just simply be a, a docking point so they're not rocking all over the place. Uh, this retails for 28 and the uh, Pirate's Fly Patch retails for 24. Uh, I like to use this now for sitting next to my vise. I fill it up and then it goes down to the car uh, or to the, uh, the fly boxes and it fills things up from there. So those are three great types of products from three great small companies that uh, you should definitely check out. I'll put links to all the products and to where you can get them on the show notes to this video. Uh, and also be sure to check out the corresponding page on castingacross.com for more information about these three companies and these products. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe for two posts a week and one podcast a week on the people, places, and things that go into the pursuit of fish.